it will not do for you to be a DA in a district and people are murdered and you don't arrest the murderers. It will not do for you to be a district police commander and people are being killed in your district and you don't, you don't know what's killed them. This will simply not do, will not work. I will not accept it. I will not preside over a country where a Ugandan is killed and the authorities do not know what a Tanzanian trained spy, Paul Kagame, now president of Rwanda, was the counterintelligence chief of rebel NRA leader Yo William Seveni. Most of the Ruelo Bush war veterans said that Kagame was never one of the celebrated NRA fighters, but was quite meticulous in his role as a spy. His contribution in intelligence gathering and analysis helped Museveni regain control of a Mitunasi guerrilla force. Sam Magala, may he so rest in peace, reportedly plotted a coup against Museveni during the early days of the struggle. In the line of duty, Kagame reported directly to the chairman of the high command, Yoweli Museveni. He was one of the 27 rebels that launched the war with the attack on Kabamba on February 6, 1981, but his military number was a distant ARA 0161. Kagame, who trained in intelligence gathering in Tanzania in 1979, to become rebel leader Yoel Museveni's most trusted spy. Specializing in counterintelligence, Kagame spied on colleagues to establish mainly who was undermining the struggle from within or undermining the authority of the rebel leader. Conspiracy appears to have crept into the NRA guerrilla movement at the very launch of the rebellion and this prompted the rebel leader to engage some fighters to spy on others. Kagame's work was therefore cut out right from the start when the only Yugoslav made RPG that the rebels planned to use to storm the armory of Kabamba Balaks went missing. Only 33 people, including Kagame, who attended the meeting at Matthew Luki Kaile's residence on February 3rd that planned the first attack knew about this weapon that would help and rebels gain access to the armory and get more guns. At that time, the rebels had only 27 guns and needed more. The RPG mysteriously disappeared a day before the February 6, 1981 attack on Kabamba. Although the rebels went ahead with the planned attack, their mission to break open the underground armory failed. According to Museveni's autobiography, Sowing the Master Seed, the rebels failed to access the armory because one of their own early Tumwini went against instructions and shot a soldier at the quarter guard instead of wrestling him down. It alerted a Tanzanian guard near the armory. War veterans say that Eli Tumwine's mistake indeed necessitated a quick withdrawal. The absence of the main support weapon was the other factor. Museveni, our sources say that he was deeply troubled by the disappearance of the RPG. He suspected that his 33 member rebel force had been infiltrated at the start. He immediately assigned Kagame to find out who the internal sabotage were, how many they were, and which danger they posed to the struggle. None of the Bush war veterans we spoke to is aware of Kagame's findings. Even when David Tinye Fuza, currently the coordinator of intelligence, became the overall director of military intelligence of the rebel force, Kagame still operated independently and continued to report directly to CHC. He had his own bicycle, Uzi Gun, and operational fund. He moved freely from unit to unit, spying on his colleagues. It was therefore not spying that when Sam Magala, one of the few Monduli trained officers in the group, reportedly hatched a plan to host Museveni. The 
CHC moved faster than them, thanks to Kagame's information. Veterans say that Museveni trusted Kagame more than Tinyefuza, who, like Sam Magala, is from the Mohinda clan of the Wahima. Museveni is a Musita. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Peace.